How are we doing guys? Got a new setup, different setup today. Yeah, different setup today. Oh, first day out in don't know how long, a long time. So it's flipping nice to get out. First dry day. It's um Mum shopping day today, so uh, I decided to go for a bit of ride first because it was it was quite nice. I uh, I couldn't really afford to go far, but I thought I maybe pop into Bristol and do a bit of a li little bit of a round trip sort of thing. You know, I thought ah, I'll blow it. Oh, so, yeah. That's what I thought I'd do today for a change not been out for ages now, so I got these um, I got these Kevlar gloves a um, AliExpress special I think they were <laughs> they're all right but the thumbs are a little bit small and I got arthritis in my thumb so I don't know for how long it'll be before I got, start getting cramped with it <laughs> I wanted to see how warm they were really, more than anything, but not well, give it a go. The other thing as well is you can't feel the controls, which is a bit of a bummer. Really annoying. You go to cancel the indicators, and I think what I'm doing is pushing the indicators from one side to the other, because I can't feel, because it's, it's, um, it's a bit stiff on me thumb, you know what I mean? I think I'm running the wrong oil in this bike. I've got, um... i got 1040 in here, and it shouldn't be 10, it should be, um... It should be 540, really. Especially now it's getting colder. So I have to make sure I will just idle it on the drive and let it warm up a little bit, let the oil get round a bit before I get on and ride it. You know, that's the trouble this time of year. It's all um, greasy, greasy roads everywhere. You know, it's a bit of a bit of a bummer, really. But never mind. Oh, I think I put too much clothes on. I'm a bit warm now. <laughs> Wind's picking up. That's the only thing I find I find a bit of a nuisance with the bike, really. With this one, it's, it's it all seems very crashy. Open them. <laughs> We've already pulled out here. <laughs> yeah, it all seems a little bit crashy. I think it's mainly because um, the oil's thicker. It, it felt quite nice because I um I put thinner oil in it. Um, it re well, it's thicker. Sorry, I re it recommended um, 540, and I thought that's probably a bit thin. So uh, what a useless indicator! How's anybody supposed to see that? Flipping heck! Absolute rubbish. Anyway, whatever. Car designers ought to get a kick up the bum hole, I reckon. And they make stupid things like that. Anyway, um, what's I saying? Can't remember now. <laughs> some of the indicators. No, some before that. Oh well. Whatever. Oh yeah. Maybe um, fork oil, wasn't it? That's right. I um, I put a slightly thicker fork oil in it, and um. I sort of wish I hadn't now because it's very crashy when the weather's cold. It was perfect in the summer. I found it crashy because it was too soft. The rebound was too quick. Or it was very sloppy, very bouncy in the summer. But because um, I tend to ride all year round, it's um, it's a bit, it's very stiff this time of year. 
So you, you tend to sort of bang over the bumps, you know, rather than soaking them up a bit. Yes, um, I'm having a change today. We're doing a different, um, doing a different setup because I'm um, basically I haven't got the PC to edit the uh, 360 videos. I'm just doing it all on the GoPro at the moment. So uh, you've only got a picture of my ugly face, I'm afraid. There's um, there's no forward facing. Um, Basically, because um, I don't have any more GoPros. <laughs> I sold all the old ones I don't use anymore. Um, I wish I hadn't now. I, uh, I had a Hero 3, a Hero 4, and the Hero 7, which is what I've got now. But I've only got the 7 now, because that's all that's left. I sold the other two. I was finding I wasn't using them, so... I thought it was time I got rid of it really, so that's what I did. Just got this one now. Yeah, it's still a bit cold. I've got um I got my jeans on underneath my uh, trousers here. I got my bike trousers on. I got my jeans on underneath, so <laughs> Yes, it's a little bit chill on my hands, but not too bad. I've got no heated grips on this bike. Bailey's got heated grips, but not this one. So uh, maybe that'll be a thing for the future when I've got some more money to spare. But uh, not at the moment. I'm having, I'll have to put up with cold hands for now. <laughs> oh, it's nice to get out. Yeah, it's proper nice to get out. It really is been out on this boat for a couple of weeks now it's the first time I've been out on it since I went camping of course you guys wouldn't have seen that probably not because I wouldn't have been able to edit the video but um yeah I went to I went to the forest of Dean which was nice and I did an overnight camp there it was it was nice I really enjoyed it that was um that must have been about three weeks ago now. God, where's the time go? Flipping it. Oh, blinking Christmas again already. It's not good, is it? It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying. Yes, what was I saying in the last video? Oh, yeah, I was... Um, I was saying I was thinking of uh, doing going for for an MP3 because my um, my CBT runs out uh, end of next year, so I've only got another year, and then I've got to do all that rubbish again. That'd be another two hundred pound wasted. But I suppose that's what you've got to do, isn't it? I can't afford. I looked at it and it said, uh, I looked at how much is it, how much would it cost to go um, to do a, a full bike license? And they said but it looked between 600 and 1200 pounds. And I thought, no chance. <laughs> I thought, no chance. I thought, I can't afford to do that. Oh, I've got no money for that. But um, I think that's probably the route I'm going to have to go because I've looked at the price of the MP3s and I thought, I guess I can't afford one of those. They're thousands, I ain't got that sort of money. I mean, to be honest, I, the MP3 is basically a bigger version of this bike. If you look at the MP3s, the display, well, the older MP3s, the early ones, like 2010, 2012, something about the same sort of age, they're, um, it's basically the same bike. It's the same bike as this, or the X8, with, um, with two wheels on the front, basically, with slightly different plastics, and they've moved a few things. They moved the radiator in front of the wheels rather than having it behind the wheels, so, which is a good thing, I think. Because that was the problem I had with this one. This is what cost me so much with this bike to get it running again was the um, was the radiator.
It was basically the radiator. It was um, it was completely rotted out, mainly because of the um, because of the salt, because of the salted gritted roads and everything. The um, the salt had got into the radiator and basically corroded it all away, <coughs> which um, which was rather stupid, I thought. And they weren't cheap either. I had to pay. Um, I had to pay two hundred and fifty pounds for the radiator, and then I got clobbered for um, import tax as well on that, which was really rubbish. Which is even worse. <laughs> I think that cost me thirty-five pounds as well, which I didn't anticipate. The um, I couldn't get a radiator over here. All the second-hand ones were in exactly the same state. They were all rubbish, and I thought, well, what's the point of putting a second-hand one in here? It's pointless. It's just going to do the same. It's just going to leak. So, uh, of course, when I bought this, it was all um, it was all full of that flipping rad weld stuff. So it was so clogged up with rubbish, it um, it had naffed up the water pump as well. So. Of course, that was something else I had to buy. So we had a um, new water pump, new radiator. Yes, yeah, so it, um, it was all a little bit on the expensive side, unfortunately. And uh, yes, yeah, so it had to come from Lithuania because that was the cheapest place. So it took um, it took a few weeks to get here. But at least, uh, at least it got here, which was the main thing. Eventually, there's a lot of salt on this road today because of the cold temperatures. I definitely have to give this a good wash again, otherwise I can end up with a radiator in the same state as it was before, am not I? Yes, this used to um, this used to belong to a doctor. This bike, <laughs> doctor somebody or other, and um, they used to commute into Bristol every day on it. Yeah, she definitely feel more protected on this bike from the weather. It's um, it's definitely not as uh, it's definitely not as powerful as the other one. It's not as slow as the other one. Uh, no, it's that's not the word. Um, the other one's got more power. No, the other one's got more torque. But this one's smoother. But then it revs higher. <coughs> Because the other one is a long stroke engine, the revs are a lot lower. And th this one's a short stroke and it's all revs. It just, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's a screamer. Yeah, she's a bit of a, she's a screamer, this one. <laughs> This bike's definitely a lot comfier. I prefer this bike. Well, I don't know. I mean, different bike for a different thing. I mean, if you want to go down country lanes and you want to do a bit of green laning maybe, and you want to explore, you want to go up really steep hills and you want to carry loads and loads of camping gear, then the other bike is definitely the one for the job. But this, this, but then on the other hand, this one's better for long distances because it's easy to ride. I mean, I got, um, I got a bit of Arthur in my arm, my hands, you see, a bit of arthritis in my thumbs, so, um, and my fingers. And, um, going a longer ride on Bailey really makes my hand hurt because obviously you're going to change your gear doing clutch work all the time. I mean, it's all right, I probably put up with it, but you do get a painful hand by the end of the day. And I also get a numb bum on the other one as well. <coughs> my bum hurts, my hips ache, my knees hurt, and me well, I basically hurt. <laughs> I hurt, I hurt riding the other bike. Do a long distance, do 150 miles on, a, on the other one, and I come back quite achy. 
you know I come back quite achy it's a nice ride you don't care because the ride's nice so you enjoy the ride so you sort of you put up with it you know but I think you need to stop more and get off more and stretch your legs and that more which I probably don't do I just sit on the bike and ride but I think you should probably I think I should probably get off more and do that you know but um this one's definitely I mean it's like sitting in an armchair it's so comfortable and you just twist and go and that's it I mean it's it's lovely slow speed control is really nice because the weight is so low down because of low fuel tank and the engine and everything else because the weight's all down the bottom you can you can literally almost stop and and it'll stay upright you know it, it's so nice to ride in slow moving traffic whereas the other one's not it's a bit more a bit more trippy you know it sort of tends to wobble around a little bit the other one I mean, you can do walking distance with both bikes, but this one's more stable and easy to ride at low speed than the other one is, you know? Hmm. Oh, what a glorious day. God, I could do it a few more of these. I want to do a camp, actually. I think I mentioned that on West Country, didn't I? Maybe that's where this will go. No, probably not. I don't know where. You'll be seeing this where you see it. I don't know where. I haven't decided yet. This one's quite, um, what, would you, what would you call it? Conservative, I suppose you could say. You know, it's like, um, feels like, ride, feels like driving an old Jag, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just sort of, it's a bit of a, it's an old, bit of a plodder type thing, you know? And then you look at the speedo and you think, bloody hell, am I going that fast? You know, sort of thing, you know, you don't realise. It, it doesn't give you that um, thing of speed. The thing I find, <clears throat> if I'm honest, is I don't, I think it's not so much, you can get numpty, see, on his GS. You generally don't get them, the numpties don't ever speak. But then that's you don't expect them to do because they're snobs. But yeah, what was I saying? Um, um, yeah, what I what I find is not so much seeing the cars. It's it's trying to see the scooters because they come from out of nowhere. The scooters come from nowhere. You know, the, a lot of them, it's like the food delivery men and stuff like that. And they undertake you and they, they cut you up and you think, one minute they're there and the next minute they're not, you know? I find that really annoying. Oh, I am hot now. <laughs> what is the temperature? Oh, 10 degrees. Oh, yeah, it's not that cold. I tend to like riding with my visor open as well. It's quite nice. You get a bit more airflow, don't you, on your face, you know? Now, I don't like these gloves. They're too thick. My hands are warm, but I can't move my fingers. I'm starting to get cramp in my fingers because you, you're forcing everything, you know, because the gloves are too thick. Not many people up here today. Get lots of joggers and that up here. That's what you got to watch. See, you got to watch, watch out for scooters. I mean, they they come out of nowhere doing their blink, their pizzas and that. And the thing is, you go and do to go to do a manoeuvre or something, and you don't see them. Do you know what I mean? You, I mean, the, these mirrors are okay. The, the field of view is pretty good in them, but. You tend to get mostly a view of your arm because they keep moving. They don't stay where they're put, which is quite annoying. There you go, here's some. Here's some foodies. <laughs> no. <laughs> they look at you like you're stupid. You nod at them, they go. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, whatever.
Never mind. Oh, I'm warm. <laughs> I am. I'm warm. I've warmed up. Yeah, ten degrees it says. But I think that's. I think that might be out by a degree or two. So I guess you could probably say it's either up or down one or two degrees. But it gives you a rough idea, doesn't it? Ooh, the phone grips have gone funny shape. <laughs> oh, I can't feel my thumb. It's gone. I've got a numb thumb because the gloves are too tight. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. Could you put your indicator in on that side? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for this kind of riding, I do... You know, for round town, I... I oh, definitely this, definitely, definitely this. It's way better than the other one. For this kind of riding. If you want to go on, if you want to go on long distance, I would probably say this one as well. If you're just gonna, if you're just gonna get, if you're just gonna get on and get on the road and just go and go and go and not really go exploring or anything, then I'd say this one as well, yeah. Because you just get up to speed and you sit there, you know. The other one's a bit um. The other one's a bit shaky and rattly. You really, the, the engine gets really buzzy around 6,000 revs. It, it, you could sort of, you, your feet go numb. You get numb feet because of the buzzing through your feet. Do you know what I mean? You can feel the, um, you can feel the vibration of the engine through your feet, through the foot pegs. But for, for a day out ride, and having an adventure, I would definitely, definitely say Bailey for sure. For everything else, this one. I would, to be honest, I'd rather take. The, I'd like to take this camping as well. If I was doing a short camp, just one night, then I would prefer to take this rather than the other one. Because even though this is, this, it, it's it's, it's heavier, and it, it's easier to carry it somehow. This is a lot heavier, this bike, which is probably why it's slower than the other one. I mean, the other one's bound to be quicker if it's not doesn't weigh as much, isn't it? I mean, this is, well, this has got to be about 168, whereas the other one's about 140. So you're talking bag of cement's worth, you know, on the back already, before you've even started. But the, um... The CVT is just brilliant. It's I've got it tuned nicely now, or I feel I have it. It feels nice. It feels good how I have it. You know, it's um, the acceleration isn't wonderfully quick, but it, it holds its own on the hills. You don't want to be over screaming it. <coughs> I mean, it was a little bit slower, but it wasn't revving as high. So I've, it's all compromises really with the CVT. It's the sort of way you miss the acceleration, really. It's not bad, it's all right. I mean, flipping out, it's 125, isn't it? What do you expect, you know? Oh, what can I smell? It smells like donuts. Mmm, so it smells nice. Mm. Barbershop. Cool, there's a lot of empty shops, isn't there? Oh, there is. Yeah, I miss getting out. I miss getting out. It's nice. Oh, dear. Yeah, so what have we been up to? Are we ready for Christmas? Um, yeah, I've, I've got so many videos I'd like to put out, but I've got no way of editing them. Oh, there's another one. You don't want to nod over. They've got, got miserable sods out today, haven't they? I don't think I've got a single nod today. <laughs> They've all looked at me like I'm stupid. I thought, oh, whatever. Mind you, not far from the truth, I suppose. But <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll get a noddy from this bloke in front then. Or oh, maybe he'll ignore us as well. No, see, don't bother. Oh, I don't know, whatever. I don't know why I bother. 
I don't know why I bother. Come on, miserable gets out today. Nobody wants to speak today. I don't know if I believe in the bike community or not, really. I think it's um, I think it's like everything. It's you either fit into it or you don't. You know, I don't think I fit into anything. <laughs> I never did. I'm never really into a club. <clears throat> you know, there, there's I don't know. Is it uh, not the etiquette? But you know what I mean. It's like um, I think some things you fit into and some you don't. And I've never really fit into anything. <coughs> I mean, you get all these you get all these groups, don't you? You know. You can guarantee. Oh, I can't hear a thing. You can. Um, you can guarantee when there's when there's more than two people, there's a, there's always somebody that wants to control everything. You know, there's always somebody who wants to be in charge of everybody else. And you think? <laughs> I think that's why I never got in. I think that's why I I could never stay in groups and things like that. You know, it's just like it just. I'm always been a loner. I've been a loner all my life, I think I think that's what it is. I mean, it's the same with me work as well, isn't it? I'm self-employed. I can't work for anybody. <laughs> I couldn't stand working for anybody. Couldn't stick it, you know? I think there was a... I think there's a meme going round at the moment. I think it's... Um, is it Gillian Anderson? She says... Um, you tell me to do something and I'll tell you to fuck off, <laughs> you know? And I thought, yeah, that's exactly right. I thought you can ask me to do something, you can ask me nicely and ask me to do something and I'll probably do it for you. I'll do anything for anybody if you're asked nicely enough. Well, asked if I'm asked. You know, I'm happy to help people out, but if, uh, if you tell me what to do, then the, the answer would be no, <laughs> you know? You don't tell me to do anything. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to stop the video here because we've already been on here for three quarters of an hour. So, um, yeah, um, love and light, guys. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching the vid, and um, I'll see you in the next one. And uh, have a good Christmas if I don't see you before. So, uh, see you then.